Oh yeah! Orchestration Recipes Volume 2 is finally out. 21 brand new concoctions of exquisite and blissful music galore. The entire thing is currently on an intro sale for just $30 and is probably the most underpriced piece of music education I've ever seen. Today, I'll explore the first recipe of the new volume. It's available in full as a free trial on the Orchestration Recipes website, so go try it out. I prepared three of my own interpretations of this recipe and will now create one with you. So what do we got? Today's recipe is called Heroes Assemble, a quote-unquote suitably over-the-top grand entrance theme with triple octaved ensemble strings, low piano steps, a snare drum, and most importantly, horns for the heroic main melody and trumpets for an equally majestic counter melody. Let's listen to what it sounds like. I've done some kitchen cleanup and prepared my DIW by loading up the instruments, adding a reverb and a bit of mastering compression. I then went ahead and recreated the example to get a feel for the recipe. Now let's create our own version. For this one, I'll apply the same key and time signature of the example. Later on, we'll mix them up a bit. Step one, strings. The recipe tells us to go for a rhythmically tight one note strings ostinato stretched over three octaves. There's no need for separate strings patches. A staccato or spiccato ensemble patch should do the trick. For recording the strings, I'll put a lot of focus on getting the velocities right. And I go half tempo to avoid dying. <laughs> Step 2. Piano. We need staccato steps that enhance the accents of what we've recorded in the strings. We are building a relentless, driving and strong motor as a backbone for our composition. Step 3. Snare drum. The only instruction here is to heroically double the groove of the strings accents, which will complete our rhythmic backbone. So let's just do that. Step 4. French horns. Your typical superhero intervals are fourths and fifths with their stable and resolute tone and therefore we'll make good use of them here. We want to let the listener know Batman is about to kick your door down. The course reassures us that it's okay if our melody is not unique or mind-blowingly different. With this type of cue, we want to evoke a very characteristic mood that the listener should immediately be familiar with. If it's too different from what we associated with the superhero entrance, then that expectation might be shattered. I will try to play around with some brighter and darker motifs here to add some spice. I like spice. Anyway, so fourths and fifths, and also we want some long notes, giving a bed for the trumpet counter melody later on. Let's go. Just a marcado patch by the way. Now we clean up a bit of the note lengths, velocities and dynamics to make sure that every note is audible. Step 5. Trumpets. The trick with the trumpets and horns is that each introduces and complements the other. 
We want the listeners to notice the horns and then introduce the trumpets without overwhelming them. The trumpet should then rest and give the spotlight back to the horns, and so on. The occasional harmony when playing notes at the same time adds richness to the interchanging game of melody and counter melody. The course wants us to add a lot of dynamic range too. Again, some cleanup and a nice crescendo at the end. And we have finished the recipe. This wasn't too hard, and that's exactly what I love about it. The ideas are so simple, but boy, are they effective. Let's listen back to my mock up of the original composition, then the three prepared versions I made earlier, and finally see how our new version holds up against them. Which one's your favorite? One, two, three, four, or five? Let me know in the comments. You can grab the orchestration recipes right now for just $30 per volume, link is down in the description below. It's a steal for its price, super informative, inspiring and absolutely fun to use. Send me over your version of this recipe if you want me to play and review it in the next Let's Orchestrate episode. See you soon!